Hey guys, welcome back to The Daily Departure. If you are new here, I am a Chicago-based flight attendant and I make flight attendant travel and lifestyle videos. And today I'm going to be teaching you how I tie my scarf. Before I get started with my scarf tying tutorial, make sure to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I post new videos. Let's get tying. Now I have my most classic way that I wear my scarf and I'm going to untie it for you and show you how I do it and then I'm going to be showing you a couple other ways that I like to wear my scarf if I want to switch it up. I'm just taking my scarf off. This is my uniform. I actually had to dig it out of my closet because I am on a leave from flying right now but it feels really good to have this on. I even got my wings and my name tag pinned on. And here is our gorgeous scarf. Now the fun thing about this scarf is that in our industry at my airline, we have three different versions of this scarf and depending on where in the airline you work, we have different colored tips. So because I'm a flight attendant, our scarf has this navy blue tip. For our gate agents, they have a light blue tip scarf, which is so beautiful. I really like that scarf. I wish we could kind of like switch it up and trade because the other ones are beautiful. And then the premium service agents, they have a red tip on their scarf. If you're ever walking through the terminal and you see someone wearing this scarf right here in this uniform, especially if they have their wings, they are a flight attendant. If you see someone with a light blue tip, they are a gate agent and red, they work for premium service. So just a fun little tidbit about our scarves, but our scarves look like this. They are long and beautiful and they have opposite pointed ends. I honestly don't even know what the shape would be called, but on this end, this points this way and on this end, it points that way. So they are posing so it looks nice once it gets all folded up. First look, I'm gonna take the scarf and I'm going to fold it in thirds and then make sure it gets that same pattern all the way down. And then I'm going to put it on my neck, but instead of going from behind, I'm going to go from the front and do this and loop it around the back and then pull my hair out because I got it down today and make sure I got it nice and straight. I also have a mirror here that I'm going to be double checking just because I typically tie my scarf in front of a mirror so it looks okay. So we are gonna go in here and just take one side. I usually kind of shift it over a little bit because when I'm tying the knot, I need a little bit more scarf on this side. I'm going to cross it over this side, super easy. And then I'm going to be throwing it through the loop and then again, kind of checking in, seeing how that looks. I usually adjust it over to my left side at this point because that's where I will finish it up. And then I go ahead and loop it in a knot. I actually crossed these over and I traded sides with them because it kind of works better that way. You can really feel, it just feels better tying it when you pull over and change the sections like that. So I changed the sections the way it was and then I'm going over with the one I pulled to my right and I'm crossing it underneath and then just tying it like a regular knot, nothing too special here. And then here you have it and I usually get it nice and adjusted on myself. Sometimes you kind of got to flip this around and make sure it looks nice and neat or maybe even pull out the ends just so it's nice and fluffy and perfectly lays on your chest. Here we go, this is the first look and typically how I wear my scarf and I have one variation to this necktie scarf because sometimes this can feel a little bit tight or it's just not laying right. Sometimes you just want to add some variety to it. So I'm actually going to go back to the beginning and retie it from step one. So I'm going to pull it off really quick and just doing this so that I can get my tri-fold a little better adjusted. And so we are right back to the start. Okay, again, taking it from the front, placing it around, pulling my hair out because that's not comfy. So we're gonna get this nice and adjusted here in the front. Kinda got a little twist when I did that. What I'm going to be doing is taking this one that's on my left side and pulling it a little bit extra out here. I'm going to be taking this crossing it over but instead of coming through this hole right here I'm gonna go under the bulk of the scarf that is on my neck and we are just going to take this and shift it over to the side 
and then again crossing it over this is the one that went underneath and this one did not go underneath the scarf but I'm pulling this one to the front and I'm going to be tying this in a knot again and there we have it. The reason I like this one is because I looped it underneath and it just somehow makes it so that it takes the pressure off of like my neck a little bit so that if I'm tightening this right here, I'm tightening it more from this knot than like overall tightening it around my neck. And it just, this one just seems to make it more comfortable so that, you know, if I'm kind of getting like that in flight, like, heaviness it doesn't feel as tight around my neck i also think it looks cool with the way that our scarf is designed i feel like it integrates the you know colors a little bit more so this is just a variation to that really simple crossover knot then if you want something again on your neck but a little bit funky we are going to go with the bow tie so once i get this all looped around it's like untangling headphones you just don't really know what's going on we are going to go back to that starting position and have it in our trifold and instead of going front to back this time we are going to go back to front just throwing it around our neck like that and we are going to be doing again another just basic kind of start to a knot right there so Crisscross it over. Also, this is possibly another variation. I know sometimes flight attendants just wear their scarves like this or even the loop around the neck and just not doing that additional knot. I don't love that look because it seems to come out a lot while you're moving around and working on the airplane. So I definitely recommend doing that like extra knot because I think it looks more professional. I think it looks more put together and you're not constantly like having to fix it. This is, you know, another way to wear it, but not necessarily one that I wear on the plane. Sometimes if I'm just running late or something, maybe I'll do this and then fix it later, but we're gonna go around and do just like a simple bow tie, like you would be tying your tennis shoes. So I got that first over and under thing going on right here, and then we are going to be grabbing one, you know, doing the bunny ear thing, looping it, grabbing this guy, and coming around the back side, coming over, because you want this to be your nice little, you know, center to your knot right here. Make sure it looks good in the mirror and then pull that other loop through and again just fixing it in the mirror making sure it looks nice and presentable you can wear it on this side if you want sometimes this bow might just be laying better so that it fits better on this side but i always prefer mine on this side because i have way too much hair going on over here i have my nice bow i'm gonna get these nice and taut down here so that they're not sticking up in my face and here is the bow there we have it, just super simple, something to jazz up your uniform a little bit more. And again, getting that nice plaid texture on the scarf, really front and center. It's just really showing off that beautiful plaid and the light blues and reds. So this is a great way to showcase your scarf. Then we're going to untie this and go on to our next two scarf options. Sometimes when the plane gets a little bit toasty, you might also be arriving to a really warm destination and having that scarf around your neck can be so warm. You just really want to take that layer off and adjust it. So that is why we are going in for our next option. We are going to be doing the tie scarf and we are going to be doing it underneath my collar. So I'm just going to flip up my collar really quick and pop this from front to back. And I'm going to pop my, my collar down really quick just so we make sure it lays good before we go ahead and do the tie. Now, starting off, we do want one of these sides shorter. One's kind of shorter already. We're just gonna pull it a little bit more. I feel like it works best when you really have just a little bit sticking out, otherwise it's too voluminous down here once you get it all tied. Short end on this side, long end on this side, and I'm going to adjust this really quick just so we get a nice neat tie because it's kind of raveled up. You're going to be taking our little side and we are going to be crossing over and then under through the larger hole. And then again, we have this, like we did on that first one, crossing it over. And then I'm just gonna make sure this gets nice and positioned right because it's going to be front and center on the scarf. We are going to take this then and cross it over. And before I do this next step, I just like to take a look at this and see if it's looking good and if it looks like nice and put together. And then it does look good, so we are going to throw this guy back up through that underneath and then again make sure this is nice and this guy looks good too and we're just going to grab the end 
and stick it through our top knot here and then pull it through. So this is kind of where we get that tie look. We have this nice large portion of it and then the bottom of the necktie. And ooh, as we see, my collar is standing up. So we just wanna make sure we get it all positioned in place and get it all adjusted. We just tighten it a little bit and there we go. You can also kind of re-fluff these guys and see how they lay, make sure they lay the way you want it to. There we go, it's a nice little neck scarf. And if this is too complicated for you, we can undo the tie and we can do something really similar to this. Not, you don't need it as short so we can give it a little bit more length. Just a nice simple cross over and cross under and then just tie it like this. This is definitely a way that a lot of flight attendants like to wear it because it's just super simple and you can give it some extra fluff, pull it nice and tight, and again, it's off your neck, giving you you know more room to breathe, not making you as hot because we are out there and we are working. Sometimes we get nice and toasty or we are laying over in a nice warm destination and we wanna take that extra layer off our neck. And then you can just go ahead and untie this guy. The last on the neck tie we are going to do is really, really simple. And I think this one works really great because as flight attendants, we are out there serving people. We are in the aisles. A lot of time you're leaning over people's trays to hand them drinks or snacks, everything that you're handing them. You are sometimes like kind of in their personal space. And one thing I'm always really aware of is my scarf and what it's doing. I never want to get my scarf in someone's food or drink. So this is a great way to have your scarf tied up and out of the way. We are just doing a tri-fold again. We are going to be starting out and going from front to back and crossing it over again. Once again, pull out your hair. That's not comfortable having it tucked in there. And we are just going to be crossing it over once and pulling it tight. And then what we are going to do is turn it 180. And from the back, I'm just going to tuck it in right there that way it is nice and out of the way full coverage on your neck it's almost like a choker scarf look we're going for here but you don't have your little ties getting in the way or anything this is another look that you can do with your scarf i'm just going to pull this guy off there we go we can start over now but again everyone has their preference to what they like people don't always necessarily love the scarf on their neck like I'm putting it right now. We all have our personal preferences, so here were a couple of options I showed you today that you can shake it up, change it up, and have different options. And there you have it. There are a couple different ways that you can tie your flight attendant scarf. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to The Daily Departure and hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I'm posting new videos. You can also find me on Instagram where you can see tons of other travel flight attendant and lifestyle photos. I'm gonna keep flight attending over here and I will see you next time on The Daily Departure.